hello, hello, here's Alay Celine from Here to Record a very quick video of show and tell or showing off of uh, Unreal Engine, so something like Epic Unreal Engine Navigation System with Theme Blender. I'm also the co author of the game development with Blender that I wrote with Mike Penn, by the way. But this is not about the Blender game engine, it's about the Blender to be used as a game making tool for other engines as well. So just a quick view of the Unreal Engine first. If you go to their website and their manual, you can see they have specific navigation modes for different mouse controls. It, it changes if you, you start a navigation with the left mouse or right or middle mouse. It also changes the um, auto support uh, touchpad directly and have the classic WFAD and also, it doesn't tell here, it might tell, anyway, it, has, uh, it can navigate with the arrows as well. So here's the Unreal, I'm using the license from Bastien Montage, but Unreal gave uh, the Blender Foundation, uh, well, <coughs> access to this copy so it can help developing these things further. So this is Unreal, just quickly show what their navigation system looks like. Here on the Unreal, so if I'm just okay, here, if I press the right the right mouse button, which I'm pressing now, and just drag it, I just look around. While I'm looking around, I can use W A S D to navigate. So I can walk sideways. I can strap, and then it always go towards the camera, right? That's the right mouse button. If I use the l left mouse button, once again, it looks around when I go sideways, but when I move the mouse, oh sorry, my alarm, I to it. And if I move the mouse forwards and backwards, it uh, walk just with this quick uh, exploratory movement, so I can just walk the whole scene like this. This is the left mouse button, and the middle mouse button gives you a general panning on, on the scene. Okay, panning, 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 panning. Also, on top of that, and of course, if I'm all panning, I'm the middle mouse button, you can see use the WASD on top of it. Okay, and on top of this, I can just use my keyboard without touching the mouse to just uh, navigate. Going, you can go up, you can go down, you can go sideways, and I'm now going to use the, the trackpad on Mac. The trackpad, I'm always in this very nice uh, view mode, so we can always look around. So on Unreal, you're always inside the navigation mode, so it's pretty cool. You don't need to go to a new mode as we tend to do in Blender. Wrong, yeah, here. Now let's go to my implementation Blender which you can find on the developer.blender.org slash d897 it's a patch just committed it's also in a branch called epic navigation on the official blender servers or if you wait a little bit it's going to be master later on so this is blender let's go f larger yeah this is a scene i got from satyak hotmail on blender swap so before going I go to the new navigation mode, let's just show what we had before. So before if you press shift F, you can look around. Okay, you can do you, you, you see that the mouse has appeared and now also we have a cross on the middle of the screen. And you can walk around, we have a gravity if you if you toggle tab. Even gonna go to here out of nine okay. just so you can see the header shift F you can see that on the on the header you get some information of all the commands very handy very useful you can also use the arrow keys okay. now let me turn on the display okay. okay now let's try the new mode the new mode doesn't require me to to use shift F so in F now just take the mouse and right mouse click I'm just looking around 
Okay, and I'm on top of this. I can navigate. When I release the mouse button, the mouse uh, cursor goes back to its original position. So if the mouse was here on the top left, now I'll go back, it goes back there. So I use so that's the modes very similar to what that's the what we had when you when you do Shift F, but I'm accessing it via the mouse. Now we're going to use another mode, which is with the left mouse button. You see, now I'm moving the mouse. I'm not moving. I'm not uh, using the keyboard. I'm using only using the mouse. And I'm going forward and backward and sideways. So if I'm going forward and backward and moving, go sideways. I'm just looking around, it's just like the mode on on the Unreal. And now the middle middle mouse button gives our general pan panning. Again, on top of this, I can use WASD and navigate around. Uh, what else do we have? Now I'm just going to use the trackpad. I'm not using the mouse. I'm not using the keyboard. And the trackpad, just as on Rio, on the Rio engine, gives me this very nice looking around. As long as as soon as I as long as, <coughs> as soon as I touch the trackpad, I'm out of the the operator. It also works outside the camera mode. So now I'm outside the camera mode. I'm using the trackpad. Okay. I'm going to use the mode we saw before. So I'm taking the mouse, using the right mouse button, and just looking around. And using the left mouse button, and going a bit forward, a bit backwards. And the middle mouse button, just panning around. Now, on top of this, you can also just and go back to the camera mode. Can just press. It can just use the arrows. So I'm now not using the mouse anymore. You can see that the mouse cursor is always visible. You can also see that the header has no information. So if I go left and then forward, and then left and press plus to go up, press minus to go down. It all uh, just works. So you don't need to be inside the navigation mode to navigate. Is it clear? So I didn't have to use Shift F to go inside the operator. I just used uh, the keyboards and it works. I'm going to open a different file now. This is the file from eMirage based on the project from from Van der Hoop, great architect. Just a bit more complex file just to show I'm here again. You can see the mouse all the time. So I'm going to select something, select this chair, and I'm just, you know, going all the way there. I'm not going, I'm not uh, pressing Shift F to go to the operator. The navigation is simply there. And I can just do whatever you want to do with the model. I'm going to grab it. Uh, what else? Since I'm taking over the arrow keys. The old error behavior can be accomplished with out, out, uh, up, out. But that's uh, that's minor. Uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, go check the patch. Please test it. And have a good one.